Hi, my name is Joseph Ally. Welcome to my channel. And today I want to explain to you how you are God and in an experiential way, a way that you can actually prove or at least one aspect of that. And then not only that, but how to then control reality based on your essential nature. Um, I'm going to be going way more in depth on how to prove through experience that you are God. So I hope that you will stay tuned throughout these um, upcoming videos to prove to yourself once and for all who you truly are. God, a phrase that has many different connotations or context. In the context that I'm referring to, I am not talking about something outside of ourself. I'm not talking about something taught through tradition. I'm not talking about anything except what you can actually experience, which is ultimately yourself. I'd like to start by examining the concept of manifestation. Manifestation itself is the innate power that every single human being has within them to create the reality literally. That, is, that doesn't mean positive thinking and then looking at things in a different light, which then by that means you're happier because you're automatically starting to do things that make you happier. That is a common question with manifestation, at least for absolute beginners. I am talking about the power that is specified in scripture I am talking about a power that is within us, that is within our consciousness, from within which all things are actually created through some, what people would consider metaphysical um, power, right? And it's, to me, when I first got into this, I thought it was, or at least when I heard of this, I thought it was absolutely ridiculous. But as I kept a skeptical mind and began to systematically test these methods, techniques, and ideas, I was able to confirm not only that we do have the power to create, but we are creative by nature. There is nothing that can stop us from creating. We are made in the image of God, this human form, but Going into more examining of how we are God and how to utilize that power of God to manifest this reality. If you, the way to particularly or more specifically look at it is that God is us. God is dreaming us. And if you look at the contents of a dream, right? In a dream, you appear in a reality that you were unaware of while you were awake and it just appeared and while it appears you took the form of a character the main character in the dream and then everything else is independent of you there but the world is very similar to this one in that everything has extravagantly beautiful detail people are acting the way they would normally act in reality, and perhaps not the exact characters with the with their exact personality traits, but the way a person acts in the dream is the same as someone in reality. So again, let's just focus on the dream. In a dream, you take on the form of a character. You are aware suddenly. Reality is three-dimensional. Everything has extreme vivid detail that is seemingly existing outside of yourself and this perfect detail that I couldn't logically be able to develop. Even if I spend a thousand years trying to map out all the exact details, textures, characters in the dream, they are absolutely perfect and I couldn't draw them or contemplate them if I even tried. Beyond that, People are walking, talking, living, breathing people. The space 
you can look outside of a window and see you can be placed in a setting there's a sun there's a time there's a place you have emotions feelings ideas thoughts attitudes there could be a hundred people in your dream you could be in a stadium thousands and thousands of people it's real but then suddenly you wake up and you realize that it was all a dream now what's interesting about this is where did that dream actually take place? Where did that time and space, you standing in a room or standing in a beach or standing in a, a stadium with a setting, maybe it was five o'clock in the dream, maybe days passed, weeks passed in the dream. Where did that all take place? There is no time and space and place where that existed in this physical world. It existed within the mind the substance of the mind. And that means that it was taking place within the sphere or the realm of your mind. And in fact, a whole world was formed. But in order to perceive that world, you had to, you had to take on the form of your mind, of a human, where you're separate now. So there's two, which is the objects and then the subject. Otherwise, there's no experiencing that reality. Well, the same thing is what is taking place here. What's interesting is in the dream, if you become aware, you can, some people are known and there's been studies done and it's happened to me. I'm sure it's probably happened to you or someone else that you know, you become aware and suddenly you can control the dream at least to an extent. Some people can completely alter the dreams, change the dreams, their settings, their environment. The same thing is here. But in this sense, there's a, this realm exists in God's mind who is dreaming. That's called awareness. And the mind, ex or I'm sorry, the dream exists, but God takes on the form of your mind and your neighbor's mind and everyone else's mind so that God can experience the world. Otherwise, the same way as a dream, you wouldn't be able to experience it if you didn't take on the first person point of view. So other people are experiencing a dream as well. But in the same likeness as the dream, if you wake up or become aware that you can create this reality, you all you have to do is learn how to do it and you can shape and control this reality. And that's manifestation and that's through experience, the way that you can prove that this is very similar to the dream. But the question is who is dreaming us? If you have manifested before, you know that you can control this reality. In fact, we're doing it all the time. But who is dreaming us? God said, let us make man in his image. It is God dreaming us, taking on the form of us. And like the dream, forgetting who we are. We know that we are ourself, but forgetting all the characteristics of ourself in the waking, in the dream, we're an entirely different person. So as the same in the dream, it's the same in reality. God falling asleep, forgetting himself, taking on the form of us so that we can traverse the inside of the dream in God's mind. And as soon as you begin to imagine reality in the way that you want, you will begin to manifest anything that you want. You visualize whatever you want as if you already have it. And then a bridge of incidents will unfold and ultimately you will experience the thing that you've imagined. And it's anything, it's your dream. This is your true dream. It exists within your mind. You may not remember being God, but you are. There's no other option, the same as the dream. Everyone appears, they're just a character in the dream. And the same thing here. So you are God. Anything that you want will take place in this reality. So begin to imagine you are whoever you want to be and watch how it takes place in this reality. No, there's no limitations, just as in the dream. Anything can appear. It all exists within. There's nothing new under the sun, which means anything you can imagine, you can manifest. So I hope this was helpful. If you like this, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and definitely check out the upcoming videos on awareness as well to get more I guess, input or examination on how you can experiment and prove who you truly are and therefore have all power to manifest all your dreams. So have fun in the dream.
take care.